we must recommit to a leadership that continues with the spirit of good neighborliness and Pan-Africanism, not one that undermines it. We recommit to a leadership that strengthens, not undermines, our ties with all international partners who have stood with us in good and bad times and the new ones willing to work with us. The journey towards a mass movement that we set on today aims to bring on board Kenyans of goodwill, citizens, leaders, movements, social formations, and institutions dedicated to advancing people-centered democratic governance in Kenya. Within a short period of going around the country, we will unveil the vehicle that has space for the diversity of Kenyans to the promised land. <laughs> Fellow Kenyans, we have spoken so much about unity because we believe it matters. A house divided cannot stand. We need unity of purpose around call long-term and consistent, not erratic policies with clearly defined goals as demanded by Kenyans. Mere words and catchy slogans will not work. We know where history has led those countries that fell victim to the sweet tongues of politicians. We must not allow ourselves to be falsely led down that path in 2022. We must take the high road and summon the angels in us to recall, not recall our demons. We want every child, no matter their pedigree or identity, to think and believe that it can be morning in Kenya again, that we are about to arrive in a new land full of the most seductive possibilities. Let us rise together to fulfill the dreams of our children and reclaim our great destiny. Let's, we must fix this country, fix its systems, fix its politics, then fix its economy. The king. We believe that the Kenyan dream, as coined by the founding fathers, is achievable. In a 